So time for the Moore's Millions finals then. It's the shorter one of the two first. The three mile and five furlough fair. You could choose whichever one of these two you wanted to go in. No matter which one you qualified for because they were all over varying distances from three mile, three and a quarter miles right up to four I think. Or four and a half even over the season. So this is the three mile five version. Cleveland's at the top for Leon Van Rensburg. A Caster Malvis, Darren Thompson. Southside Kevin Meenham. Cottage Rake, Craig Beckwith. Watchtower, Graham Clutterbuck. Paul Sotilla, Alex Cherry. Right on Q, David Hooley. Captain Manor in Martin Leedham. Thistle down to Vinda Padraig Hogan. Molly Awesome, Alex Cherry. And Rose of Darkness for Padraig Hogan. They're called in and off. And they're on the Grand National course for this, of course. And making their way down towards the first. And over it they go, they're all safely over the first. And pulling for its head is Pulsar Tiller, also pulling for its head is Acaster Malbis. And I'm guessing that most of these won't have seen the national fences before. That first fence was the Foreign Haven fence, the second one here is the canal turn. So over it they go, and all safely over that one. They seem to have settled down quite nicely. And Acaster Malbis, bowling along in the lead as it likes to do, coming down towards. Valentine's with a clear lead. So they all stream over that one. It's A Caster Malvis in front. Cleveland is second. And Paul Sotilla third on the inside. Captain Mannering in fourth. That one did run in the Grand National. Uh, ran well for a long way. Didn't quite stay the trip as they get over the fourth. Rose of Darkness just the back marker. Just a one grey in this this time. That's south side for Kevin Meenham. But it's A Caster Malvis for Darren Thompson who pops over. That's always a crashing fall there. Captain Mannering's gone. So Captain Manor in the one that's got the experience of the fences has fallen. So maybe a bit of a surprise there as they get into the next. And A Caster Malvis led over it from Cleveland in second. Then Paul Sotilla third and Molly Awesome fourth. Then comes Watchtower, Cottage Rake with South Side on its outside. On its inside is Thistle down to Vinda. And then right on cue. And finally Rose of Darkness is just the back marker at this point. But hey, Castor Malvis is bowling along nicely in the lead. Leading by a good five lengths to Pulsatilla and Cleveland. And Molly Autumn is fourth, Watchtower is fifth. And Thistle down to Vinda as they get over the next. That'll be the second last next time round. Acaster Malvis in the lead. Pops over that one nicely. Alex Cherry's pair are second and third. Paul Sotilla and Molly Awesome. Cleveland, the top weight, is back in fourth. Then Thistle down to Vinder as they square up towards the chair, then. Just lost the one so far. And Acaster Malvis will lead them into the chair. All giving that plenty of air and getting over it quite easily. They come down towards the water jump now, which is the smallest fence on the circuit and Acaster Malvis took that really quickly in the lead leads by about four lengths as they begin to swing left handed and out for a complete circuit of the track the next fence will be the fence that is the first in the Grand National and will be the first in the four and a half mile version of this which is coming up next and it's Acaster Malvis in the lead Paul Sotilla is second Molly Awesome is third then Thistle down to Vinder is fourth and Thistle down to Vinder South sides after that, then Watchtower, Cottage Rake in the centre of the field alongside Cleveland, rows of darkness on the inside of that one, and then a bit of a gap to Rod on Q at the back, who might be just being pestered a little bit by the loose horse as they get over the 11th. They're all safely over that one, and Rod on Q has shook off the loose horse now and gone past it as they get into the next, and a stake there by the horse in second. It was Ponsa Tiller. We've seen that one drop back to fourth. Cottage Rakes also dropped to the back as well. As they come down there to this big open ditch. Oh, and the lead has gone. Acaster Malbis has gone. A crashing fall there for Acaster Malbis. And just didn't take off at all. And the lead is out of it. And that's left Thistle down to Vinder in the lead. So Thistle down to Vinder goes over that one in front from Molly Awesome and Ponsa Tiller. Cleveland getting closer in fourth. Then after that one comes Southside, Rose of Darkness is next, then Watchtower, then a bit of a gap to right on Q and Cottage Rake. 
as they take the next. And that time they're all over it okay, although Cottage Rake made another mistake at the back. Doesn't appear to be enjoying these fences all that much as they make their way now towards the next fence and it's Thistle down to Vinda who's in the lead going to take them over Beaches Brook in front over it they go the wall over Beaches safely with Thistle down to Vinda in front Pulsatilla in second Watch Tarris clipping closer in third then comes Molly Autumn south side they're beginning to bunch up now as they take the Foyne Haven fence they're all over it okay although right on cue made a mistake they're coming down towards the canal again now and Thistle down to Vinda is in the lead by two to Molly Autumn and Pulsatilla Watchtower's on the inside of Rose of Darkness then Cleveland and Southside Cottage Wreck and right on cue still trying to creep back into it as they get over the canal turn and they're all over it okay and Pulsatilla's now gone to the front Pulsatilla from Molly Autumn and Thistle down to Vinda Watchtower's between them Southside's wide on the outside Cleveland is well past they get over that one he's gone this time Pulsatilla and right on cue both gone so two down at Valentine's which I seem to remember took a load out in the National as well so they're racing down towards the next end there and another one's gone another one's gone Watchtower's gone this time so absolute carnage here then there's only six left as they race down towards the next fence and Molly Awesome is in the lead Molly Awesome jumps it in front from in second place Rose of Darkness then Cleveland then Thistle down to Vinda and then South side, and there's actually only five left in it because Cottage Rake went as well at some point, and they're racing down towards the next end. This is the third from home, and another one down, is he? No, he somehow recovered. The jockey on Molly Awesome somehow managed to stay on board, but it's Rose of Darkness in front. Cleveland's in second, Molly Awesome is third, Thistle down to Vinda four, and South side five. These are the only ones left in it as they race towards the home turn and the final two fences, then. And then that big, long, grueling running. It's Molly Awesome who's got back into the lead again. Molly Awesome's in front from Rose of Darkness in second. Cleveland is in third. Thistle down to Vinder is fourth. Then comes Southside, not out of it yet. The grey as they come down towards the final two fences in the first of the Paul Moore's finals and Rose of Darkness on the inside of Molly Awesome Cleveland on the outside these three are starting to pull away from Thistle down to Vinder and Southside over the second left they go and it's Molly Awesome in front the two bottom weights from the top weight it's Molly Awesome in front Rose of Darkness Cleveland is next Southside is really beginning to run on they're coming down towards the final fence then now and Molly Awesome has gone three clear Molly Awesome pops over the last of the lead Cleveland jumps it well in second Southside going best of all and he's beginning to close they're racing down towards the elbow it's Molly Awesome in the lead she's four or five lengths clear Southside moves into second Cleveland can't carry the weight it's Molly Awesome the bottom weight in the lead Molly Awesome is racing now towards the final half furlong the grey Southside is getting closer it's Molly Awesome and Southside Molly Awesome by two Southside's getting closer the post is coming Molly Awesome needs the post to come now and it does just Molly Awesome just from Southside who was closing with every stride it was must have been agonizing for the two trainers watching that because virtually going up and down in the air at the end Molly Awesome she's just lasted home from Southside who's put in a pretty good effort after looking out, out of it to him for home Cleveland did well with a big weight as well only five finishes uh, Molly Awesome for Alex Cherry was the winner Southside Kevin Meenahan second Cleveland Leon Van Rensburg third Thistle down to Vinder Padraig Hogan was fourth and Rose of Darkness for Padraig Hogan again was fifth